Greetings and welcome back to Monster Legends. Okay, we got a couple of new things here. Uh, one that's uh, kind of obvious here was the Monster Wood. Monster Wood, they have relics in there now for watching videos or a chance to get relics. You're going to get money, you're going to get food, but you could get a bronze relic, most likely. Maybe a silver, rarely a uh, gold. But I got to tell you, I did get a little bit lucky. I got two golds. So we'll just see if there's something useful in here, you know? Okay, got a lot of those. Unfortunately, I don't have... It's at the shield, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a good one. It's just that I don't have anybody who's like one of my main guys who can actually use it, you know? All right, I should probably put them on somebody, but, you know, it does take, ge it does take uh, gems to get them off, right? All right, and... Okay, a trap. I think that might be my first golden trap, except, of course, for the one that uh, I think that Al is wearing one. Okay, what is this one? If the wearer's life is below 50%, it removes... Oh, okay, that's, that's actually very good. Level that one up, and that's nasty. Yeah, yeah, level that one up, but it's a lot more than 24 points. That can be very... Those are the ones that really hurt you, especially when it's the whole party. So that's a good one. I'm very happy with that. Um, I might just have to find somebody I can put that one on because that one is a nasty one. Uh, I think I might actually be able to put that on Melvin. Melvin currently, I think he has a silver that takes uh, life away. But, you know, taking the stamina away, especially a lot of it, can be really good. Of course, his is automatic, though, so he doesn't have to get hit for it. I don't know. Maybe I'll find on somebody else. Okay, so that's, uh, you, can get, you can get good relics there. So if you want to take the time and watch them, but you're not going to get a relic every time. Just so you know that. Just That was running yesterday. It's running today. I don't know if it ends today, but you should be able to get one more circuit through there, you know. One circuit, I believe, is 20. 20 attempts. So that's one thing that I got going there. All right, and uh, I want to very quickly do this because I want to spend a little more time on something else. Uh, we have the Hunter's Maze. I think that I am going to be doing the Alien. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what my goal is going to be because I am just really not doing too well with those coins. I mean, even if tomorrow morning they put a coins, uh, a coin dungeon out, I still don't think I can do very well. And as somebody noted, yeah, prioritizing getting the uh, the little items in here that you need for the, I don't know how many, I mean, there's supposed to be five of them, I believe, but I don't know if all five are here. You know, I don't see any others so I'm hoping it's just them. Oh, there's one down there. Shanky, which means you have to move Shanky. All right, you have to move Shanky. Okay, let's hope that that's it. And I don't want to see anything like really ugly. I don't see any others. All right, so basically you have to move the first three, right? You have to move the first three. I'm planning on trying to get the alien dude. That's what I'm trying for uh, because I'm just not going to be able to get enough to get him. Uh, someone was very nice to... Um, put information about the event in the comments of my last video and I pinned it and just looking at the numbers I'm thinking like oh I can't get those kind of coins in a week nope I can't do that so I'm just gonna settle for what I can get uh, I'll, I'll get him and then I want to try to get as much as I can from here as well yeah as I said even if they do even if they do it you're talking about six seven hundred extra coins that's still not gonna do it for me um, given the discounts, which was also in the, um, the comment that I uh, pinned, uh, it, um, I'm probably going to do it on Wednesday. That seems to be the most convenient one for me. You know, it's like one day before, but that seems to be the best one for me. That's probably going to do it. Probably make a video on it, so that will be that. Anyway, uh, after that, I'm hearing that we're probably going to get that Grand Prix. I'm wondering if it's that Francine... Um, the Frankenstein, Fra Frankenstein monster one? I'm guessing it's that because I can't think of why it would be there any other reason. All right, and you can see that um, I am rapidly approaching him, getting him up. I'm really hoping he takes after Talani in terms of open ruin slots. That would be very, very useful. And that's actually going to give me three because I'm going to have him, I'm going to have Talani, who I put a video out on yesterday, and I also have, still have Barjark. So that's going to be three. So I can use him as denial you know, because of the blinding and such, and have some good damage behind him. So that will be another testing video, and you never know. There might be one coming this week because 
Yes, war and teams. We'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, there is something else, though. You might know that there is actually two Warmaster dungeons available right now. By the way, I have a question. About how many of those heroic orbs do you need to actually beat one? Never. I, I only did like a little bit here and there, so I don't really know. Is it like 3,000, 4,000? Because I think I have about 2,200, which means, yeah, it's going to take me a long time. Um, but yes, uh, Elvira is up again, if you're interested. And, of course, we have a new one. And that's what I want to spend a little bit of time on. Okay, we have Warmaster Zara. Okay, she's the nature one. She's the nature one. Zara is tough and increases the total life of her allies by 50%. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's look at the uh, trait here. Status effects have a 35% chance to be less accurate against her. Increases 50% of total life for allies. And uh, she is torture immune. I get that from her. I'm guessing status for the caster. I'm guessing that one's for her groups, the life buff, and that herself, of course. And I'm guessing that the torture immunity is for her. So, and her stats are pretty good, a little bit low on the power, relatively speaking. In other words, she's very fast, and she's got a lot of health, and she's not uber in power, if that's kind of what that means. And in comparison to a regular legendary, she's fine, right? But, uh, all right, so let's just uh, check out some skills. And, of course, these are only the skills that they selected. And i got to say, sometimes they don't really pick the best ones. Just saying. Okay, why did you get to go first? Okay, that's just mean. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the skills here. We have Cryptus. What does this do? Removes all negative status effects from one ally. Blocks all damage except... Nature, not nurture element. Um, yeah, guy spelling. Yeah, fix that, please. Um, in other words, one guy is going to become absolutely um, for one turn. One guy is going to become absolutely in, invincible, except of course for nature. I, it's not one of the four skills that I would choose. You know, I don't know what the rest of her skills look like, but if I was going to pick one. That's not one of the four skills that I would pick. All right, let's just take a step back. Okay, Stinging Nettle. Deals moderate special damage to one enemy, applies damage mirror to all allies. Okay, you know, it's an attack. It's got a three-round cooldown, though. I do realize the damage mirror is kind of nice, and it only lasts for one turn. Yeah, I mean, I'd be interested. I mean, I'll probably take a look at her other skills or something like that, because I don't know if these are the best choices. Just saying. All right, Area Cryptus. Okay, so this is maybe a better version of what we just saw. Blocks all damage except nature damage to all lasts. Yeah, keep that one. Yeah, that one right there. Three-round cooldown. Okay, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that one. The first one, though... Nah, the first one, no. No, just no. Here's a question, though. This one right here. I'm guessing that's also going to block dot damage as well. Because, I mean, it's damage... Are there any nature dots? I guess poison. Poison would probably get through, right? But uh, that's an interesting question. I wonder if any of these guys... I don't see any... I don't think any of them do poisoning. They might do bleeding, though. That might be an interesting thing to do. All right. Uh, actually, I'm going to use that one, by the way. But I want to look at these other ones. Savia Transfusion. What is this? Removes all negative status effects from one ally. We're doing that. Or Did somebody pick these? Okay, and applies precision to one ally, gives extra turn to that one ally. Okay, see, I would not be very enthusiastic about this, um, this War Master by these selections. This is, I, I, I don't know about this. I mean, I think she probably does have a lot of good skills. I just think we're not seeing them here, that's all. Uh, not the best selections, not the best selections. All right, let's just look at her big special, Hemlock Hold. Okay, attacker removes positive status effects from all enemies, disables trait on all enemies, applies stun. Okay, that's good. That means you're pretty much going to get a stun. Unless, of course, they happen to resist it, which I'm guessing the accuracy, yeah, the accuracy is 120%. They're not going to dodge it. Um, I don't need, unless, of course, there's something wrong with her, I would guess. All right. Well, you know what I want to test? Well, let's test the big... Okay, I didn't want to do that. I want to go, okay, no, 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 no. I'm doing this wrong. All right, let's test the big shield. Okay, they're going to go first again now, aren't they? Okay, he's going again. Water hater. Dude, there's nobody over here with water. Just thought I'd mention that. All right, let's do this one because none of them except for him up above is nature. So let's just uh, do this. 
All right, let's see how well that's going to work. Okay, unfortunately, timing is everything because now she's not going to... Um, yeah, I, I really want to test this one. And unfortunately now... Okay, she's the only one who took damage. Okay, no damage there. Um, I just... Shork is the last one to attack. I want to see if his attack goes through. Okay, Clevia, can I get one? I don't want to attack everybody. Just hit one. Okay, I don't want to do that either. Okay, they actually put better ones in here now. Okay, you know, might as well just do that. All right, let's with Shork. His damage should get through. Yeah, right, because he's got major damage. Okay, Hemlock Hold. Attacker removes all positive status effects from any disables traits and stun. This should basically just stun. Because the guy in the front is not stunnable. Normally. And certainly, uh, that's actually a good combo because remember, uh, uh, Galatron is also immune to like all forms of stun and stuff. But not now, right? All right, do you want to burn these guys? Okay, their trade is already disabled. But you know what? Poison and Ignite are fun, so... Sucks to be you guys. Ah, why not let her have some fun too? Uh, heavy damage to all. What about this one? Deals massive damage to all enemies. Applies poison to all enemies. And bleeding. Okay, we'll just throw some bleeding in. I'm, I think they're pretty much dead. The guy in the front certainly is dead. Actually, the guy in the bottom too. Shark's still around. Okay, he just came back. And then he's back too. All right, anything else here? All right, what is this? And applies a damage mirror. All right, why don't we just get rid of him? He'll come back. And, okay, and Talika, unfortunately, has very bad timing because, yeah, she's going to do something. She's going to do this, and she doesn't have the damage mirror. Okay. Shouldn't that have reflected the group attack back? I mean, he used a group attack. Shouldn't that have reflected the group attack back? Isn't that the way that works? Okay. All right, I don't understand. So, okay. So I think we have one more. I don't know if the first one's really worth it. But we'll see. We'll, ta we'll take a look. I just want to take a look at all of them here. Okay, uh, what was the last one? Removes all negative status effects from one ally, applies precision, gives him an extra turn. All right, why don't we do that to you? Okay, and she also... Did she, was precision in there too? I didn't remember seeing precision in there, but she does have precision. So we just go for the stuns, except for the guy in the front. Oh, you only got one stun down. Oh, the other guy's immune to all, all forms of that too, right. Um, burning bushes... We like disabling the traits, don't we? And they're just going to all die now. Um, yeah, just discharge, because I want to see Last Skill. Right, he's dead, and then he's back. All right, uh, I think we did that one. Then we have this one. Removes all negative status effects from one ally. Blocks damage except for... Okay, so that was the single target version. So we might as well just use that on her. Okay, so she can't be hit by anything. Um, I think that's about it. I, I, I don't... Um, I don't think that a couple of those... Two of those choices for her skills were really the best for this demonstration, you know? Um, I like the shield one, and I like the damage reflect one. Uh, the shield for the whole group. The shield for the one individual, I, I'm pretty sure she's probably got something you're going to put in there instead, because she has very little offense here, except, of course, for the big one there, you know? I do realize she's nature, so she's going to be supporty, but they also don't have any kind of healing as well. Um, I mean, does she have healing? Nature usually does have healing of some sort, so I just question the choices of the skills. I'm pretty sure she probably has better ones. 
Now her, um, you know, the 50% extra health isn't, certainly is not as spectacular as some of the other traits. So, yeah, I'm guessing she's doubling the health. She's probably going to have a lot of things like regeneration and healing and things like that. So it's just, I don't know if they chose the best ones for this demonstration. Certainly not the single target uh, nature shield and certainly not with the spelling error, right? Uh, if you're going to put the full team one there. The full team one, yeah, that's a very good one. Especially if there was no nature on the other side. It's just the unfortunate timing of Talika being just behind her means that she wasn't going to be covered by that, you know? All right, so I think that, that could be good. It's a good, good, interesting one. Probably not someone I would go for unless, of course, they're just hiding all of the best skills, you know? I think, I think that's the big problem. It just didn't really make the best skills available for that one, you know? Didn't make the best skills available. All right, so, yeah, okay, so you know what happened in the last war. I don't have to tell you. Yeah, I got all my attacks in. I actually only got wiped once, um, but they destroyed us. Um, that's going to happen again. I'm not going to hide it. We're going to go in because, you know, I do want to give the team a look on, you know, that team. Um, it's actually a new team we're facing. It's just that it may not look bad at the moment, but it's, 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 it's you know, again, we're picking away at the end here. You know, we're picking away at the end. Uh, they're very strong. Uh, it's a new team, and they have a lot of very enthusiastic individuals in there. So I'm guessing that they're really going to hammer us later. So I think what I would rather do rather than fishing around, and I'll get my attacks in, I'd rather like finish off the adventure map. That's kind of what I would really like to do. Um, just I'm kind of anxious to get it done, at least this island, you know. And I do have some new individuals in because, you know, the next one was going to be kind of hard. Um, and, of course, I just threw somebody in. If you didn't see it, I put a testing video out earlier today. One of the individuals is actually in there, and I'm sure you can probably guess who I put in. Uh, I didn't have full ruins for him yet because I forgot what I wanted to do with the third one. I might have to go actually go back and watch my own video to figure out what I was going to do with the third slot. Um, but the first two are damage. The first two are damage. All right, so this is what I've decided to go with, right? All right, now, unfortunately, uh, Beth in the front here is not really that fast because she's got two slow s slots. But I figure she'll do the job. She, these guys don't usually end up having any ruins or anything like that. And she is getting some support from uh, Twig, who I do believe is actually going first because he's at 105. And Twig can do healing and stuff like that, so he's going to be good. And, of course, Jello is just damage, so he's going to be doing damage. Yeah, I don't remember what I wanted to do with his last spot. And um, I was doing a lot of ruins removing and adding because this is the last day for the half price for that. And I looked through all my guys in terms of um, skills. I think the last one that I actually fixed was Drogon. You know, um, Darmouth is that I took away like the group um, damage. I think it was a group damage one. And I put his own buff in there. It's just I never used the other one. And in retrospect, his own buff is better. And given that, I also gave him a better strength one. So he's a little bit more effective than he was before. I also took a ruin off of uh, General Alice. Alice? I don't know how to pronounce his name. And uh, yeah, given the last fight not too long ago, I put an extra health on him because he's a real pain that way. All right, let's just see how this works out. Hopefully this works out a little better than the last time we started this, right? All right, this is the... Uh not that one. I want the weakness. Yeah, I want the weakness. Okay, and I also want some stuns. You guys immune to stun? Anybody immune to stun? Nobody immune to stun. Good. Okay, except for you. You're being annoying up there because you're hardened, right? Okay, that was pathetic, dude. I, w I just thought I would mention that. Um, yeah, why not? Okay, and I do believe you guys are in a lot of trouble. The word that comes to mind is dead. So we're just going to charge at this point because you're all dead. Hey, look who's a little bit alive. And he's mad. Okay, well, you know what? Be mad. Be mad. Actually, are you going to be dead? You only got one dot on you. Um... Can I have a little bit of that health, please? 
Thank you. That was very nice of you. It might have been health I wanted to put on him. All right. Um, I'm thinking since only one of us is actually healed, why don't we just do something about that? I can't see... You're immune to blind. All right. So I'm about to blind here, and it's not going to affect you. So... Oh! Oh, that's only one enemy. Oh, well... Can't have everything, right? All right, I think the last one is blindness. Okay, he resisted it. Okay, she doesn't want your funny mushrooms. As you can see, she's already tripping. It's like through portals, you know? All right, um, let me see. Well, I don't need to do that now. Let's give somebody some pain. You in the front. You want some pain, don't you? Of course you do. Okay, he came out like a wrecking ball. All right, you got, You need to charge. Uh, oh, guess who's got her stuns back? And uh, guess who's in a lot of trouble, too? Okay, she needs a heal badly. Okay, if she got that back, then that means he has Pinwheel Whirlwind back. Yes, he does. Okay, we need some healing, and we need it fast, because otherwise we're going to lose somebody here. Oh, you're back up. Okay, uh, who's about to, you're about to go, so why don't we just reset your cooldowns? And he even missed. Wow, you're just really amazing, aren't you? Um... He's already got something nice, so I'm going to give you something extra, too. Oh, never mind. That kills you. Oh, what is this? Heals all allies, doubles health of all allies, applies mirror. That sounds fun. And he just died. Okay, we got two, which means you get a roll here, right? Okay. Yeah, the last one is not going to be this team. I think you know that. So I will take a look at it, but it's it's going to be uh, it's going to be the wrecking squad, right? It's going to be the boss killing squad. Okay, so let's just walk in. Okay, I'm only getting food for this? Really? Wow, that's uh, that's all kinds of lame, isn't it? Yeah, that's all kinds of lame. Okay, Santa Claus has come up. Okay, wow. She's kind of tall. She's kind of tall. All right, what has she got going here? Immune to nightmares, immune to possession, immune to freeze, immune to sudden death, attuned, immune to poison, burning. I'm seeing something missing there. You're immune to blind. You're immune to blind. How many how much health do you have again? Yeah, that's, en that's enough. That's enough. All right, uh, we're going to do a change team, of course. All right. Thank you for your service. You were very good. But, um, yeah, we need the specialist now. And we're starting with the specialist. All right, where is he? Where is he? Get in there, Timmy. Get in there. You're going first. All right, let's think. Who do I want here now? Do I want to still go with Simon? Or do I want to do something else? I'm wondering whether or not I want to do uh, Prince Charmless, frankly. Because he might be... You know what? I'm going to try that, and we're going to see how that works. All right, where is he? Okay, wait a minute. He's, okay, he's up here somewhere. There are a lot of 105s. There we go, Indigo. You're in there. And, um, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to retire in there. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're going to take some stamina away. No specials. No specials. Okay, so do I want to start with a stop time? I might as well just do the stop time on one of the Santas just in case. All right. But of course, the big thing is equalizer on you. 
Oh, yeah, it sucks to be you. Do I want to just do this? It'll leave a little bit left. I'm wondering if I want to save the epic quest for um, one of the Santas. That's a thing. Okay, stab, and a little bit of stab, and you're dead. Okay, so let's just uh, work on this Santa since the other one is taking some time off. It's rough being Santa. You need a little bit of time off, don't you? But don't worry. We'll get to you in a moment. Indigo's very responsible regarding that. Um, oh, actually, I didn't even do... You guys were already weak, aren't you? I didn't even realize that. All right, well, a little extra weakness there. Okay. Well, you know, if you're going to miss one of them, that's okay. Don't worry. He's got lots of stamina. Lots and lots of stamina. Okay, and I got 25 gems for that, and a silver relic chest. That's very, very nice. Very, very nice. And we got a spin, too. Yeah, food. Really? Okay. I mean, if somebody's up to this point, that's probably not a lot of food for them, you know? I mean, if you can beat 120th level dudes on the map, chances are food isn't a problem at that point. I'm just going to look at the first one, because I just want to see what's going on here. Okay, they're starting off in the 116s. Alrighty, so, yeah, I might just, uh, I might just make a video and run through that. I haven't decided yet. I just wanted to be in that position, right? Yeah, I mean, the thing about it is, for bosses, yeah, equalize. Unless, of course, I only looked to see if he was immune to it. If he was immune to it, like the, uh, a couple maps back, or several maps back, they had an Invar as the boss, and I believe he was immune to the, uh, Equalize, but if they're not immune to equalize, another thing it wasn't immune to there was the stun. The, they weren't. That's a common one, so they weren't immune to the stun. I was thinking if I wanted to bring somebody in who could stun, but you know, all I had to do is get um, in that case get Indigo going, and it's all over at that point. All right, so yeah, we're doing we did that instead of the um, instead of the war. The war is not going to turn out well. I'm strongly considering doing a day skip in order to get us back to early morning. We were running into much better fights early morning. Now we're about 11 in the after, 11 in the early, late morning, I should say, in the late morning, almost to noon. And now we're starting to run into things that are really powerful. So I'm wondering if it might be a good time to do that again. And of course, because I now have, I'm going to have enough three new individuals, I could always do another testing video and put it in on that day. Uh, it's definitely not going to be the next one, might be the one after. We'll see about that. Anyway, um, we're going to go some PvP now. Because, you know, I'm actually getting attacked by a lot. Somebody brought this up. See, watch this. Uh, see this? This is my main team getting attacked, too, except they lost to them, you know. Um, somebody brought up a good point, is that we are going into a race, so a lot of people are probably driving down their trophy counts. I mean, look at what's in the middle there. Is that really like 3,400 trophies? Yeah, no, it's not. That's not 3,400 trophies right there, right? So people are probably driving their trophy counts down because, of course, parts of the race require a lot of PvP wins. So you got to get the win, right? So if you're fighting up at the top of your game, you may have trouble actually converting the chances up here into wins. But if you drive your count down, well, that's... Yeah, I mean, the thing about it is, which would you rather fight? Now, look around here. Which would you rather fight? Me, if I was going to choose one, it would probably be the one on the left. Actually, we're probably going to be choosing, aren't we? All right, well, let's see what happens, right? Anyway, I got four teams, so let's go. Our first team was selected by Awesome Video Watcher. An awesome video watcher wanted to see... Okay, we're going with fire. And it's going to be burn. All right. Next, we're going with Water, and she should be right here, and it's going to be Tara. Now, for the last spot, it was basically Timarian. And as I do, if it's Timarian, I will not be putting Time in, because Time is not designed for PvP. Tiny Tim is designed for PvP, and if you don't specify... Oh, he's there! I'm going to have to do something about that, ain't I? All right, and no, I'm not going to, like... I need to make two changes, too. So a little bit of look into the future here. Uh, for the moment, why don't we put... Uh, oh, I got a good idea. 
I got a good idea. I got a good idea. Uh, where is... I put Kihaku there. And uh, just for scare tactics for now, why don't I just throw Timmy in? Because people don't know Timmy. Just scare him. All right, let's go back here. And uh, let's throw in, of course... Da, 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 da. He's down here. He's down here. It's the reason I would never merge them. If I got another Temerian, I would probably upgrade Tiny Tim for more speed because yeah, I do use him for PvP. Okay, so here's our team. So let's see. Uh, not up the middle. Nope, no way. Not even going to consider it. Um, could possibly do the team on the... I'm not really scared of possession with Tim, Tiny Tim in there. I am terrified, however, of a, uh, um, a Prince Charmless, though. I mean, this is dangerous here, uh, over here, but I mean, I think that um, Tara will probably get the, the advantage. We don't have a lot of damage, but I don't think they're very meaty either, so let's just do this. I think is, we can we kind of draw it out a bit if we have um, Tiny Tim going here. And no, they're fa he's fast down there, but it's it's not really close. Yes, the good old days when they let us get ruins in the team store, good ones. Not anymore. If you're wondering, that's where I got that nine, that nine single target speed on Terra. Okay, that's not good. I mean, it's a great performance and all, but it just doesn't work out good for us. Actually, it works... Oh! Oh, is that what that does? Okay. Okay, that's bad. Oh, did she get an extra turn? Did they all get extra turns or something? Is that what it does? Ouch! Okay, that's really, really bad. I really wanted, I really wanted him going first. Um, I don't suppose you want to do elite. Oh, I don't want him to do elite troops because it'll do it on them. Okay, that's ugly. All right. Um, let me think about this for a moment. Activate cooldown. All right, let's do a stop time on him over here. Right. And then I'm going to activate their cooldowns. Okay, he's frozen. That was actually very lucky, right? There was a little concern that he was going to kill somebody. All right, first things first. Um, who's going, she's going first, die. Uh, let me think. The thing about it is if I do anything like loop damage or space time, it's going to be meaningless because they're both going and they're going to lose it. So I'm just going to charge. All right, Mars Punch gets rid of him, but do I really want to do the other one instead? What about Fire Trap? Um, that'll probably kill him down below. Lots of cell. Okay, that does kill him up above. Yeah, kill him. Okay, is this going to kill you? Yes, it is. Yeah, Tamarians, that's, as I said, that's the reason they're kind of terrifying, aren't they? See, the thing is, you can't get the bad stuff on them, and they have all kinds of things they can do to mess you up. All right, and of course, I have health on mine, so he's very hard to kill. That's the one thing. If you can get, you can kill him quickly, like with a Burkgar or something like that, or uh, Master of Pain from like a Barbados, then he's gone. But uh, yeah, you're not going to pick away at him. Otherwise, you're going to be picking away. And no, I have no intention of doing that one on the right. No, absolutely not. All right, let's uh, go in with team number two because team number one was successful. All right, team number two was suggested by the Rusty Bucket.
in the rusty bucket wanted to see somebody that I just gave a um, I gave an increase to um, I, I buffed them a little bit I figured yeah this is okay she how has it she now has them one of my sevens on her if you didn't see that so I figured you know like she's actually kind of really useful so having her go quick you know early and often is just a really good idea all right in the second spot we have somebody who's waiting for an upgrade and i really need to get going on that but i need i think i actually have an extra spot now so i can do that and that's going to be clint uh finally the reason the, for the second change in the um the pvp team was jack now there's a little bit of stepping on toes here but i think we can manage it and I'm pretty sure that, I don't know if Jack is going first. See, Demise is just naturally fast, so I'm not really sure who's going first. I'd be very curious. Um, left. Sounds like a plan. Dangerous? Indeed. But I think that's the plan. Um, they got some good speed, but they kind of got it diluted a little. Here, hold on a second. What do we got here? 58... 54 that don't make a lot of sense um what do you got 65 60 right so jack is going first all right so right let's go all right um i'm going to be taking the general daddy's away um stamina away here uh, I do realize it's very dangerous for the other guy, but the thing is, if we lose all our stamina, we're going to be dead anyway, so it's not going to matter. So I'm going to do this. I'm hope I'm going to get a freeze on the dude up above. I'm hoping I'm going to get freeze on all of them. Okay, good. She resisted the freeze, but I got the stamina. That's what I wanted. All right, strength from below. The question here, or beyond, I should say, I know who I want dead the most. And unfortunately, I'm not going to get it. Because he, he, he's Earth. Ah, it's really annoying. Oh, almost. But, I mean, that would be a waste. All right. Let's get rid of him. Unless you missed. Oh. I really hate that. Okay, that's very bad. All right, now I, I really... He's still... Um, she's not as dangerous at the moment. He is. That one you hit. Could have killed him outright the last time. All right, let's think. Uh, unfortunately, two of them are now immune to, um, freezing, so I'm going to have to make other arrangements. Uh, can I take your stamina, please? Because I really don't want you attacking. All right, let's think about this. Do I want the blindness? Okay, when light corrupts, why don't we do that to her down here? Do I want to do that to her? I mean, I know what she's going to do. She's going to probably do elite troops or she's going to freeze somebody, right? That's not one of the effects I would have appreciated. No, 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 not, absolutely not. Yeah, I knew what she was, I knew she was going to do that. I knew she was going to do that. Um, he is still immune to freezing. But I think I'm going to have to do it anyway. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that anyway. All right, let's... Um, unless I want to buff. All right, we're going to do the freezing. All right, I got the two that I could get. Shining Tackle. Uh, do we want to put blindness on you? I don't need that right now. All right, we'll just try to blind him. He resisted it. Um, that will kill him in the front. Assuming we don't miss. Hopefully the dazing, because otherwise I think we're going to lose somebody. Okay, he's dazed, which means he's completely incapable of attacking, right? He can't hit anybody. Nope, he's going to miss. Oh my goodness, he's going to kill somebody, isn't he? And unfortunately got rid of all of our damage. Uh, that's actually a huge problem, isn't it? She's frozen. All right. Um, that's that's all of our damage gone. I have no idea how I'm going to win now. Shining Tackle. Oh, that kills him. Double damage for the win. 
Okay, I'm not sure what just happened there. Um, uh, charge because you have nothing. Ah, that's annoying. He doesn't have any, but he can freeze, that's something. Um, freeze. That's not good. Okay, she's up again. Shiny tackle, kill her! Thank goodness. Okay, hard fought, but a victory. All right, and that'll do, okay, and a spin. And some coins, very good, more maze coins. Assuring that I get the alien dude. All right, so let's go with uh, team number three. Team number three was suggested by Greenhog William. I hope I said that first one right. And Greenhog, I believe you gave me multiple teams and I went with this one. So let's see. Uh, Alex in the first spot. And I believe it was... Where is he? Zap in the second spot. And then... Um, we have, yeah, he, oh, he has one too, good, you know, I was looking at that one. I don't know if it's the same one. Uh, here, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, Alex is going to be our speedster in denial. I actually, I, I thought a minute, when I was going through the runes, I said, do I really want him to have sixes? I'm going, you know what, yeah, because in terms of thunder, my denial is kind of limited for now, so I just kind of leave. It's a good thing, right? It's a good thing I left that on him. All right, but I'd really prefer not to have anybody who is, like, true denial. Oh, wow, I think maybe we can take that team on the right. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, no, we're probably not going to do that. However, I am looking at this team over here on the left, and I'm not seeing any primary denial over there. I am seeing some serious levels. But um, we do have damage and buffing, so let's do it. If we die, we die. Okay, um, he's going first. Fortunately, we don't have any water, but he does do a lot of damage. Speaking of damage, there's some serious runes over there. I noticed there's some health over there, too. Is that all you got? Okay, that's all you got. I noticed that they're all immune to um, they're all immune to stun. That kind of takes some tools out of his pocket. All right, I'm gonna do this one right here because it'll make him evade for a little while. Okay, did he just miss? He missed one of them. Wait a minute, he's like evading. Okay, that's irritating. That's actually very, very irritating. Well, the thing about it is, if I, I'm going to have to pick one and get rid of him, right? And it's going to have to be this guy in the front. Because the thing is, I can't possibly take the rest of them. The thing is, I don't, with that shield on, I don't know if I can get him. Oh, or actually, that's kind of, oh, wow. But, I mean, that's not going to be enough anyway. And he just got a big chunk of his stamina taken away. Um, is the rest of his stamina going now? No, it isn't. All right. I might be able to kill him if I can get him down a bit more. But I just lost a bunch of my stamina. I think he's dead now. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. All right. So I'm going to try to do what I can to the others here. Um... She's the closest one to death down here. Unless, of course, you actually missed her, which is kind of amazing, you know? All right, well, this is going to leave him without stamina in the next round. Oh, wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Just wonderful. Just wonderful. Specials happening all over the place. Isn't it great? Balance. It's called balance. Missing and specials and lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. I take no responsibility for that. 
I call that BSRNG. It seems that's what we do. Remember when this was actually a strategy game where you would use tactics now? That's all gone now. It's all up to the random number generator now. It's completely random. All right, let's go out and get uh, another point here so we can do one more battle and a couple of uh, more of those heroic orbs. Maybe someday I'll get a War Master. All right, let's go back in and uh, let's set up our last team. Our final team was selected by Mr. Sloth86. And Mr. Sloth86 uh, gave me some individuals, so let's go through them. Uh, the first individual we got was actually a kitty cat, Meow Meow. Where is he? Okay, there's Cloud. And the next individual is actually um, Magic. And this is going to be... Where is... Is there somewhere? Dodger. Uh, the final one was a bit of contention in terms of the rat skull with the blue chest. I had no idea who that was and started looking through all of my guys until I realized, you know, I'm probably guessing that's who he's talking about. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to go with um, nature, and this is going to be... Where is he? Bagel! I'm pretty sure that's, that qualifies with the rat skull and the blue chest. If it's somebody else, I have no idea who else. Uh, we do have a bit of a problem here. We don't have any damage. Yeah, we don't have any. Except, of course, I think what's going to happen is Bagel is actually going to be doing damage. Remember that he can do freezing, but he also has group damages. So I'm afraid he's going to have to be damaged today. Unfortunately, he's going first. So I have to... Um, we're going to have to see where Dodger is going in the grand scheme. Because uh, if she can do her resets of cooldowns, then that's fine. But, um, yeah, I mean, if he's just going first before them, then we might have a little bit of a problem. Um, no, I am not doing the one on the left. That sounds like a terrible idea. Actually, all of these look like terrible ideas. Let's just refresh and see if we can find somebody who's legitimately around 3,200. Okay, I see you there on the right. I see you there on the right. Let's do that. Okay, except we can't freeze at Gersis, but we can take it. If we, if we can get in there before he moves, we can reset his cooldowns, and that's going to hurt him. Let's do that. All right, all, co all comes down to the numbers here, the speed numbers. There's the support over there. Um, what are we looking at? 57. All right, 5,700. Does Dodger have that one? Yes, she does. Okay, she does indeed. I'm guessing she's... Oh, is she getting a buff? She's getting a buff. All right, so that'll probably work out all right. All right, let's go. I didn't even look at Bagel because I knew he was... He's not going first. I guess she has natural speed going her way. Okay, all right. Well, we're going to see if this is going to work out here. We're going to do activate their cooldowns, which probably means she's going to do a stabby attack over here. Oh, she didn't do anything. Good. All right. I really would have preferred he was going first. All right, so the thing is, I could freeze them now, but it's not going to freeze. I'm thinking that I'm just going to use... I'm going to use him for damage. Where is it? Is this a better one? Heavy damage to all. I still have the freeze in to go with, but the problem is... Or, should I do this? No, not this, not this one, this one. Do this one. All right. And then save the heavy one for the double damage and the precision, right? All right. That still doesn't do a lot of damage. All right. But, you know, we have to pick away at it, don't we? Oh, did you have, uh... Oh, no, you just attacked. Of course, he's nature, so naturally you go after him. All right, we're going to go with total blinds now. Anybody immune to blind? No. 
Okay, you resisted it. That's not good. Okay, could you leave uh, could you leave Bagel alone, please? Okay, he's dying now. Uh, which means I might as well just go for the freezes, because the only one who's blind is the one who can't be frozen. That's going to leave me with a big damage issue, though. I mean, I can kill the ones in the back. I can kill the ones in the back. That's not the problem. Um, okay, don't do that. 50% um, chance of stunning. I, I really need this one dead. No stuns. Okay, I wasn't counting on any stuns. All right, let me think about this. Um, total blind on one. That would kill her. Deactivate all... Oh, and negative status effects. Why didn't I think of that? Okay. Okay, he can't do anything, unfortunately, because of stamina. Uh, he can now, though. All right. What about... Yeah, I mean, the thing is, that's probably the best one to do right there. All right. Okay, so we just have one really big, annoying fellow who, unfortunately, he's blind at the moment. Okay. Unfortunately, that's going to go through. Oh, it missed. Okay, good. Okay, um, I really think that, once again, you should have your cooldowns reset. Yeah. Okay, luckily, you're not dead. All right, charge. Um, you don't have, you don't have a problem yet. You know what? Let's, um, I could do damage with that, but I'd much rather get all our skills back. Uh, kind of like that one. All right, now question, should I just use his own, so he's got the massive special damage. So if he does it to himself, I think it'll probably work out better. Shield. I should remember that. All right, why don't we do charge with me on himself. And that one. <sighs> Damage is the only thing he can do that's really going to be useful because he can't freeze him. Okay, you missed. That's what, Did you still have that uh, blind on you? Okay, well, you know what? Let's just activate your cooldowns again. Okay, you don't have any uh, stamina. You have stamina? Okay, fast claws. Okay, it's a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Actually, I, oh, you don't have any stamina. I was about to say you can finish him off. Um, and you don't have any stamina? Okay, we're counting on you, Simba. We're counting on you. Finish him. Thank goodness. Alrighty. Okay, so yeah, that took a lot longer than I would have liked. All together. Long episode today. Alright. And we are done. We are done. Alright, so... Right, so we have the maze going. It's going to go for a few more days. As I said, I'm probably going to do my run-through on Wednesday, because the time is convenient. Um, like I said, at the moment, I'm setting my, my, my sights kind of low. I'm setting my sights kind of low, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, keep an eye open for the uh, the coins dungeon. Might appear tomorrow morning. Might appear Tuesday morning. Who knows? Um, I'm I'm guessing we can pretty safe with no limited path since it was only a, a week. If it was, it would we would have seen it already. And um, I think that's going to be about it. All right. So um, this guy over here, of course, he has. Uh, about a little over, a little under 20 minutes to go. So maybe tomorrow you'll see a video on him. And uh, in the future, we might be doing a day skip. So anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.